All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson eight. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue solving word problems using, but this time, they're still using money, but this time they're using dollars. So let's get started. All right, so at her yard sale, Danielle got one $20 bill and five $1 bills last week. And this week, she got three $10 bills and three $5 bills. What is the total sh uh, amount that she got for both weeks? So let's draw that. So first, she got a $20 bill and five $1 bills. So one, two, three, four, five. So how much money did she get that first week? Well, she got $25, and remember, we want to put that dollar symbol on the left, not the right, even though we're saying $25, but you put this symbol on the left, so it's kind of like dollars $25. It's kind of weird. Anyway, three $10 bills. The second week, she got three $10 bills, so one, two, three $10 bills, and she got three $5 bills, so five five and five. Oh my goodness, my dollar bills look so silly. And so how much money did she get that second week? Well, let's count. So we've got 10, 20, 30. Two fives makes 40, plus the extra five is $45. So, all right, so how much money did she get for both weeks? So if we wanted to, we could record that in a tape diagram, and it might look like, oh, this it might look like 25 and 45 and then a question mark if we wanted to record it in a tape diagram. How might we add that? Well, this is one of those perfect opportunities to allow students to do some math in their head. One way is to think about this as 20 and 5 and 40 and 5 and then 20 plus 40 is 60 5 and 5 is 10, and 60 and 10 is 70. So I would want them to do that work in their head, but be able to explain their thinking. Another idea would be to leave the 25 alone and decompose the 45 and move 5 over and get 30 plus 40. Uh, so there's a variety of ways to let your students talk about how they added up the money. So here on Saturday, Mary Jo received five ten dollar bills four five dollar bills and seventeen one dollar bills on sunday she received four ten dollar bills five five dollar bills and fifteen one dollar bills how much money does she uh did she receive uh, on both wait no how much more money i want to do this in black how much more money did mary joe receive on saturday then on Sunday. Interesting. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is figure out how much she received on Saturday. So she's got five $10 bills, so that's 50. Four $5 bills, so that's going to be um, 5, 10, 15, 20. So there's your four $5 bills, so that's 20. And she received 17 $1 bills. So on Saturday, we have to add up all of this money. And this is a great chance for students to think about their uh, place value. Let's add up all the tens. So we have five tens plus two tens plus one ten. So that's five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens and then seven ones. So that's 87 dollars. Now let's do the blue. Let's do on Sunday. She received four ten dollar bills, so that's 40. She received five five dollar bills, so that's going to be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So that's twenty-five dollars, those five five dollar bills. Plus she received fifteen one dollar bills, so now we're going to add that up. So now this is another opportunity to allow students to think about the place value system. We've got four tens plus two tens plus one ten, so that's seven tens. Four, 
five, six, seven tens. So in our mind, we're going to think 70, right? And then we have five ones plus five ones. Hey, that's another 10. So that's really 80 on Sunday is how much she received. Now, the big question is, how much more did she receive on Saturday than on Sunday? So really what we need to do is we need to do 87 minus 80. And of course, we're going to get 7. So how much more? Another way to think about that, drawing that, might be so we could put Saturday and Sunday. And we can draw a tape diagram for Saturday. We can draw a slightly shorter tape diagram for Sunday. And we can say, well, Saturday is 87. Sunday was 80. And we could kind of draw a line right here and say how much more is Saturday. So this is a very famous way to draw a tape diagram. It's actually two tape diagrams, one for Saturday and one for Sunday. So the idea is, the answer to the question is she earned $7 more on Saturday. And the last problem for this slide, um, for this video, is Kate had two $10 bills, six $5 bills, and 21 $1 bills before she spent 45 on a new outfit. How much money was not spent? So how much money was left over? So let's first figure out how much money she had at the beginning. So she had two $10 bills, so that's 20. She had six $5 bills. Oh my goodness. So I got to write one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so six $5 bills is 30. And 21 $1 bills. And we're going to add all these. And so the idea is, parents and teachers, this is a great chance. We don't really want students to just blindly use an algorithm. We want students to be thinking about number sense and being flexible with their numbers. So let's think about this and let's add it in our mind, in mental math. So we've got two tens plus three tens plus two tens. So that's going to be seven tens plus we have this extra one. So the answer is 71 bucks. So Kate had... $71, and then she spent 45 of it on the new outfit. So what would that look like with our tape diagram? Well, one way to draw that would be she had 71, but she spent 45. So how much do we have left over? So that's a classic way to draw the tape diagram. And what might we do to get our answer? So for 71 minus 45. All right, what could we do? Well, one way is, of course, the arrow method. We could think about this as 45, and then we could say, well, let's add 5. That gives us 50. Then I can add 20. That gives me to 70. And then I could add 1, and that's going to get me to 71. And so how much money do we have left over? How much money is, you're going to add these. So 20 plus 5 is 25, plus 1 is 26. So we would have $26 left over right here. $26 left over. Now, is that the only way that we could... Uh, find the answer to the subtraction problem? Absolutely no. We could just do kind of like the classic standard algorithm. And we could think about this as saying, well, we have one one, but we, and that's not enough to take away five ones. So we're going to do some regrouping. We're going to take one of these seven tens, leaving us with six tens. And we're going to turn it into ten ones, which means now we're going to have 11 ones, and so 11 take away 5, that gives us 6 ones, and then 6 tens take away 4 tens, gives us 2 
tens. And so, of course, here's another way to show that our answer is 26. So parents and teachers, this is a great opportunity to allow students both to practice their money, but also to think about all the different ways that they can use to solve that simple subtraction problem. And really, the value is allowing students the opportunity to be, be flexible and use a variety of strategies to get the answer. Uh, one strategy, of course, being that standard algorithm, but we also want students to use these mental models in order to get the answer mentally as well. And that wraps up second grade module seven, lesson eight. Students were using word problems uh, that involved dollar bills. And of course they were drawing tape diagrams.